Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm decorating a patron spread for Stephanie. So stay tuned and see what theme Stephanie chose this month. <music> So Stephanie wants her October spread decorated this month. So I'm going to use the Happy Halloween book from Plan Anything. This one is no longer available, sadly, because it's so cute, but it sold out. And I also pulled out functional bo boxes and pumpkin vibes. So I'm going to start with those to give her a really fun Halloween spread. So on the 6th, it's her mother-in-law Lisa's birthday. Okay, so I made a sticker for that. I think I'll just cut the Lisa's part off and then put that in a slender box and put the birthday right underneath it. So let's just start with, let's just start with the black one. I'm gonna put it a little over to the left because I'm gonna use one of those little black and white birthday icons. So let's use this little party hat that's made out of paper so it will stand out, so the black won't show through it. Okay, so that's that. And then on the 5th and the 19th, Stephanie is a restaurant manager and she they have wine events that we actually got to go to one, Dale and I, when we were in Florida. Let's choose an orange one, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna use an orange box for that. I printed the, the sticker that says wine event in a kind of a spooky font. See, it's got little spider webs and spiders. I forgot the name of the font, but when I edit the video, I will uh, put it up on the screen. I'll go back and look, but I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit because I made some little wine glasses also on the Cricut. And I'm gonna do those right here. They're just these little black and white ones on paper. Okay, so we have another one of those on the 19th. So for that one, I'm gonna do this kind of tan colored box. And I just made the same one for that one. I made a little wine glass for this one, but I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do it on both. Or maybe I should do it on this one because this one already has an icon. Let's do that. I'll just move it right down here and scoot this back over. Okay, there we go. Now, moving on to the 15th. She's going to a comedy show. Stephanie, that sounds so much like so much fun. Let's get a box for that. Let's see how big is the sticker I made? It needs a fairly good sized box. I also have here uh, functional boxes. So let me just get a black one, like a smaller black one for that. Like this size. So on the 15th, right over here. Okay, it's right next to that. No, well, that's okay. We'll have something in between it. Okay. All right, now on the 24th, there is a close friend's anniversary. So 
I made a little happy anniversary sticker and I didn't realize that the 24th was on one of those half days that split in half, I mean. Oh, but I think it'll still fit. Okay, so. So I'm gonna put happy anniversary right here and then cut this circle a bit and put it up there. And then you can just write your friend's name in there, Stephanie. All right, so then all we have left is a bar competition on the 23rd, and then there's also a Bucks game. So I made those fairly small because they're in this day. So we'll do And then also the Bucks game. Actually, let's do a little box, like part of one. Let's do orange. And I'll just trim off part of it. And put the Bucks game in there. That works. You know what I think? I don't like this half circle. I think since that worked, I'm gonna do the same thing here and scoot this up. So let's do that here. And you can just write your name's friend's name in there, Stephanie. So I'm gonna do it like that and just trim that off against that line. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks cleaner. All right, let's also do the other games. On the ninth, I'm gonna use a larger box. I'm just gonna kind of vary the shapes a little bit, or the sizes, I mean. We'll do that, and then that little football icon that I made. So here, let's do I'm going to use this one for the second. Then I think I'll do this one for the next day, for the ninth, I mean. For this one, I'm going to put game in the box and box above it, just to, so it doesn't look all just alike in a row, you know. We'll put that one there and then over on the 27th and then we'll be done with function. We can start decorating. We need probably some more black. So let's do this one here. It 
and we'll do a little football icon underneath it. And I did that in that kind of, I think it's called something sports font. There we go. Okay, good. We're all set with that. We do need a little bit more orange up here, but that's okay. We'll do it with something else. Okay, I want to use one of these little houses, I think, where I did that white out. I'm just trimming a teeny bit of the clear off. I think over here, let's do some of those trees and maybe a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, what about this like wavy looking tree? but I'm not gonna have the trunk of it on there. I do wanna do one more tree though. Okay, so let's do that tree there and then this right above it. And then a smaller one over to the side. And then I think I want to do some of the little dogs sitting beside the tree. Or let's do these kids, they're a kid and a dog. That's super cute. They're trick-or-treating and they just have on sheets to be a ghost. super cute, I think. What do we think about using this long Halloween sticker in the sidebar? And then I'll find the word happy to go above it. Oh, that's cute. I like it. And then I'll have, I'll have some bats or something flying around. Actually, I'm gonna white out where it says notes so I can do this right up there and then do trees or something at the bottom. All right, I couldn't find any word that said happy that I like to go there, so I've made it in orange on the Cricut using that Medina font. So let's see, how do I want to do this? I think it would fit perfectly if I kind of do it right there. That way it doesn't cover up any of the letters or interfere with any of the letters in Halloween. Okay, so I want to get some trees over here. or at least one. Let's do that one. And then one of the smaller ones. We could even do another one off to the side, right there. So let's get a dog or something to go beside that. Something small-ish. How about a jack-o'-lantern or... I 
We need something with color, so I'm gonna say the jack-o'-lantern, but let me look in the Hello Pumpkin book, a little smaller. Let's just do this little plain pumpkin. It doesn't have to be a jack-o'-lantern. Just for a little bit more orange there. And then I saw some bats over here in this one. Right here. Let's do that and there should be another one. Yeah, let's use the other one. Going that way. And I'm kind of thinking about a spider web up in the corner. What do we think? Let's see. Like a really small one. This one right here would probably work. There we go, that's perfect. All right, looking good. I think maybe we need a spider web in the other side too. All right, let's do that for now. Let's get this little boo right here down by these kids, or this kid and this dog. Let's even do the smaller one. There we go, that fits better. Okay, and I also printed off Keep It because I want to use Spooky over here somewhere. right here. I don't know. Let me try it. Okay, and then I'm thinking about doing trick or treat right here. And then that would probably be all the quotes I need since they're kind of large. Let me get treat. I might have to take up boo, put it somewhere else. Cause I don't want trick or treat to be directly under spooky, you know? Yeah, I think I'll do boo somewhere else. Okay, let's over here do something. I was thinking the cat, but then it needs some color. So I could do this stack of books and candelabra. Let's see. Okay, we'll do boo up here somewhere. I'm 
But by the trick or treat on top of this comedy show thing, let's do this little candy pail. And that also gives us more orange. I think we'll do the moon right here. And then there's this little witch flying on a broom. Then how about this little cauldron over here? a few of these stars going at the top these like little sparkles Then let's do this over here. And a little bit more right there. This piece here, only I need to cut this part off because you can see that it was cut. Okay, let's sprinkle in a little single, few single stars there. And now we need a few more over here. I think I'll just use some of this. Okay. Okay, and we need a few more little single stars over here. Let's do some there. And we need
need a little bit on this side too. Some right here. I just think the stars really pull it together. Do that little bit there. I'll do some there and a couple on the other side. Okay, and let's get a few of these smaller bats over here by Keep It Spooky. These, I think these could be cute. Do the pumpkin over here a little longer and then the bat and a ghost over here. Then another bat here. I think I'll make this one a little bit shorter. And let's do the ghost over here. And I've got another bat. I want to make it shorter than that one though. I don't want the two ghosts right next to each other, so let's switch out the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern for a ghost over here, the larger one. I pulled out this washi. I've had it for a long time and I don't really even know where I got it, but it's a repeating pattern. I like the stripes and I like the newspaper. So I'm gonna tear off these and just save them, the, the chevron and the Diagonal stripes.
Okay, and let's try this coming off from the side over here. Okay, and then we'll do this with it. And I'm just going to kind of cut that off jagged like the other one. All right, so I need something here. I'm thinking about, hold on, another quote. We could do haunted or ghost. So if we have... Ghost would be a little more understated and haunted would be obviously a longer word. Let's see. I think it's too big. Let's look at ghost. could work. I'm kind I think I need to change this to an orange box though. It just looks awfully dark over here. Or maybe this little one. Let's do that. Okay, so let me lift this up. And this I'm gonna switch that one to the bigger one and then Okay, I think that's what it needed. It was feeling very box heavy on the other side. All right, I'd like one more little piece of washi right here coming out from this box. And then, you know, a little piece of the stripe with it. I think that would be cute. thing we need to add is more a few more stars and maybe a couple of stickers across here. Let's do this one. Let's do this little banner over this little sticker of the little kid with the dog. That's cute. And I think we just need something right here and then some more stars and we'll be good. We could do the little cats right there beside that. Just do a few more of these little sparkles. 
do those. Right here. And these over the little cats. And we'll do these here. And then just a few more across here. And that's gonna be Stephanie's spread. I hope you love it, Stephanie. I had so much fun putting it together. It's spooky, but still cute. I love these little cats and this little dog and kids sticker. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.